Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Spooky, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to complete Patch's quest in Bloodborne. First thing you want to do is to have defeated Vicar Amelia. Once you have defeated her, you will gain access to the Forbidden Woods. Then, after you've entered the Forbidden Woods at least once, Patches will show up at any of the Red Lantern doors. I happened to choose this one because this was the area I was in at the time. This is in Forbidden Woods. But any of them will do, whether it's the, the little girls, the elderly ladies, or Ariana's, any of them will do. But we're going to need to talk to him at this store and exhaust all of his dialogue for him to give us the tonsil stone, which is what we're going to need to be able to access the lecture building, which is the next step in completing his quest. Warping to the Cathedral Ward will give you easy access to the next location. You can also warp to the Grand Cathedral lamppost as well. They, that actually might have been a quicker um, option, <laughs> but this is the one I happen to choose. You're going to want to make your way up and take a right past the Cathedral where you fought Vicar Amelia to be able to go to the ancient shrouded church that Patches spoke of. Be really careful of these two enemies down here, they're really strong and they, it's really easy to get staggered. So if you would rather just run past them, which is what I did, or you can fight them, but good luck <laughs> because they stagger you and deal crazy amounts of damage. But once you've made it past them, you're going to enter this cathedral-like area and you're going to want the amygdala to pick you up. As you can see, I'm just praying that I don't die from the frenzy. So. It really depends on your health, but the frenzy can kill you. I don't know if in this instance what happens um, because you get the cutscene, but um, you're going to want to get the cutscene where it shows the amygdala and you hear Patches talking in the background. Okay, so now that we've made it to the lecture building, what you're going to want to do is go straight out the door and across the hallway. You'll find his door broken and his head will be poking out the top of it. For this, I actually, my recording messed up so I don't have the actual footage of showing him being there. I have him at his last location, but it will work just the same. Just make sure you exhaust all of his dialogue for him to be able to continue his quest. Once you've completely exhausted his dialogue, you're going to want to go ahead and collect all the goodies you want in the lecture building and then make your way out to Nightmare Frontier. Now this is the most direct route, I mean really the only way to get there. I did a straight shot just to show you guys. I fought enemies because I want you guys to know what enemies are in your way. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you now, there's these three giants that throw rocks. If you guys are familiar with the Nightmare Frontier, you know what I'm talking about. And those guys are assholes. So, you really want to, um, if you're going to fight one of them, you want to keep an eye on the ones that are throwing rocks at you because it's really easy to get distracted and not realize that you have a boulder coming towards you. And if it hits you directly, it's an insta-kill. So, just be really careful. Um, I'll show you guys in this next area where those guys are and the best way to deal with them. But anyway, um, this is the direct route to get to Patches in his next location. You're going to want to find him and he's going to push you down, surprise, into a poison pool. He's, he tricked you and set a trap for you. Just good old Patches. But um, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch this and pay attention to the path that I take and watch out for those guys that throw the boulders.
Okay, so this poison pool is completely optional. You don't have to go through it. You can just warp out. Or if you'd like to go through it and get, get the messenger skipped, more power to you. But nobody's going to blame you for warping out because this place is a nightmare, especially down here with the uh, the frenzy and poison and everything. But the next thing you're going to want to do is go through and defeat Amygdala for patches to have recognized that you've defeated Amygdala in his final location. So just to get that dialogue down. But the next thing you're going to want to do is go through the Unseen Village and defeat the One Reborn. Now, this fight can be tricky for a lot of people, but I really wish you the best of luck <laughs> completing it. Um, the best strategy is to go up and down the stairs and do the plunge attack down. But once you've defeated the One Reborn, it will put you out at the Lecture Building Level 2. And to be able to find Patches' last or last location, he didn't move, but to be able to complete his quest, he's going to be down a ladder behind a giant. Now, I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys now that this giant hits insanely hard, like harder than any of the other giants in the game. It's not a normal giant like the ones in uh, the Cathedral Ward, even though he looks like it, he's not. So. You see him over there in the corner, well the ladder is directly behind him. So whether you want to fight him or you just want to kind of lead him away and run for it, it's up to you. I went with the uh, <laughs> leading him away because he's really, really, he hits really hard and he's got a reach, it's crazy reach. But once you've found the ladder, congratulations because this completes Patch's quest. This is how you complete it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and be quiet in the guys get this dialogue but look how creepy he looks L really I mean at the first glance you would attack him you would think he was an enemy I know a lot of people did this I know a lot of people saw oh no a spider bug you know enemy let's attack it well I would yeah I, I was really freaking out at that point when he crawled onto the table it really did freak me out but um but yeah this completes his quest you find him and he will give you the beg for life gesture which is pretty cool it's definitely unique that's one of the more unique ones. I mean, all of them are pretty unique. But uh, I really hope that this has helped you guys complete his quest. Once you've learned this gesture to finally complete his quest, uh, he's going to ask you if you're mad at him. And if you tell him that you're not, he'll give you a rune. If you tell him that you are, he'll give you a rune, the exact same rune. But the twist is, if you tell them that you that you're still mad at him, then he will appear later on in the chalice dungeons and he will sell you items like the bath messengers so you get the rune either way so i would recommend telling him that you're still mad at him because he tries to make it up to you in one way or another so i uh, again i really hope this helped you guys complete his quest if you guys have any questions whatsoever please feel free to comment below and i'll help you to the best of my ability i just thought this was a really cool quest and i wanted to make sure you guys didn't miss it so again, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Until next time, happy hunting. Well, but don't we not, sweet compere? What is friendship but a chance encounter? <laughs> ah, well met. My apologies, but I feel a profound thought occurring on the good grace of a certain god and the way he meted out his love. <laughs>